What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Darts Podcast. I'm Jack. That is Kurt. Hello. And I thought we'd do an episode on sponsorships because I get quite a lot of messages. How do you get sponsored? And you do as well. Yep. And I thought we could just go through some, like, just to kind of give some people a bit of a perspective on, like, what it's like to sponsor people. You've just sponsored Jodie Hancock to do in yep. some of her, her events. I've just sponsored uh, Kyle Davidson, a youth player from Scotland. He comes and plays in our streams and he's going to Gibraltar for some uh, some JDC thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, I thought I'd, I'd sponsor him. But, yeah, I thought we'd have a discussion about sponsorship. So, what, in your opinion, is, like, the most common way of getting sponsored when it comes to darts? Um, or the way that people want to get sponsored. So, you'll get a lot of people get, like, I don't know what you'd call it but like well financial sponsorship so like and generally these are like you know everyone so people who want to go to challenge or Q school um or like your professional players and it would normally be like you know a mate's company or a family company or something or just like someone who you know thinks you're worth sponsoring they'll say like i will give you normally the player will set a price so if, if like Q school is like 450 quid and you've got like four patches we'll just say i'll oh, just give us like 100 quid or something give or take and um, I'll stick a patch on my shirt, which for Q school doesn't really make a lot of sense, but we'll probably get into that. Um, and then probably also equipment sponsorship, which I think a lot of people is like, if if anyone could, if there's a lot of darts nerds and fans out there that want any type of sponsorship, probably equipment sponsorship, because they're like, I'll just get all the free equipment I want, which isn't actually true, because I know a couple of people who are sponsored by a company, and that's not how it works. Yeah, I think, because... Yeah, I, I do get a lot of people who message me and they're like, right, I want to go and play in this. How do I get sponsored? And yep. then I speak to them and, and I'm like, well, how much is entry fee? And they're like, oh, it's a tenner. Yeah. I'm like, so, so what do you need sponsorship for? Well, f- to pay the entry fee. Yeah. So like, just just pay it yourself. Mate. Yeah, that's ten sort of pounds. Thing, pay yourself. Yeah, I, I, I get those sort of messages, messages quite a lot. But I do think it's quite important to... to for people to understand like if you're going to sponsor someone you're going to you're going to want something back you're not you're not you're never going to expect to get your your sponsorship investment back um for the most part but you're going to want something back so for someone like me to sponsor sponsor a person let's say i sponsor you 100 quid yeah yep for me to get back 50 quid doing what i do being content creation i'll probably need you to 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 gain me, I don't know, ten thousand views on a video, which is like unbelievably just not possible. Yeah, like there's there's no there's no way unless I hit like a nine data. Yeah, on, like I have to do something amazing to bring in ten thousand views. Yeah, but like, but but you if 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 you went and told all your friends and told all your family and were like, That's oh, not so and so sponsoring me, go and go and subscribe subscribe to his channel. I'm gonna have to get about ten thousand views to get yeah. back half of my investment and that's that's the thing i think i see i see a lot of people like you know i follow loads of people on twitter and like they're good players you know average like 75 to 85 probably good enough to go to like q school and do a bit on challenge tour and they're and they just sort of go and this is where i sort of set up part of my website to try and help people out because obviously i work in marketing and stuff so i sort of know that side of things um and they'll just say oh yeah like looking for sponsorship I'll put your name on my shirt and I'll give you a shout out on social media. And it's like, that's not going to do nothing. Unless like you're a close friend or something, or you know this player's going to maybe pull out a shock and do well, it's not going to get you anything back. And I think sponsors know that they're never really going to get money back. They might want a bit back, like some sponsorship, management sponsorship generally. Management company will pay X amount of money or they'll pay for your events and they'll want X percentage back. So they're never going to make all their money back they probably do in other ways like you know however that works i'm not sure like getting you to do exhibitions and stuff yeah and um that makes sense but like in terms of just like here's 100 quid to put towards q school at the end of the day q school's not streamed apart from on dark connect which no one's going to see the actual physical patch yeah um and a social media post when you haven't got any followers on twitter doesn't do anything yeah so basically what i want to do in this episode is just to give people like a better understanding and to give to give like some tips and stuff on how you can how you can go about getting sponsored by 
by someone yeah by yeah. by a company or by or by by someone who's who's got the funds to do it so i think i think one one thing especially for me is i i am going to be a million times more likely to sponsor you if i know that you're like watching my stuff or you're in my streams or you comment comment on my videos or my twitter or something so i i, I feel like there's probably a, probably a lot of people who are the same and um i think i think if you if I, th- I think the best way to do it is to target someone and try and get sp- if, if you were to go f- go after someone for sponsorship I'd, I'd try and target like a few people in particular who you think you could get it from instead of just try and cast your net on everyone yeah because the thing is like i've, I've had it before where I, I get a message from someone and they're like oh i'm doing this can you sponsor me or can you send me some darts or some flights or something and then they're in my they're in my message requests on Twitter. And they go on their profile. They're not even following me. No. It's like do yourself do yourself at yeah. least a favor, and like just just follow the person who you wanna you wanna try and get a few quid out of. Yeah, it's it's that loyalty thing, isn't it? I think there's there's people out there at the minute. Um, I don't know the back like obviously the the details of like their sponsorship and stuff, but um, uh, I'll pick someone out from Twitter. So Adam Gorthrop, good player. Yeah, De- really decent player. Um, been looking for sponsorship for like going to Q school next year and stuff, and um, he's sort of you know pretty well known in the darts Twitter circle. I'd say um, lots of loyalty towards you see him sort of comment and get tagged in stuff from Premier Darts, and like they've sponsored him, whether that's financially or with equipment, I don't know, but like they've helped him out in some aspect to go to Q school because he's shown that sort of loyalty towards them whenever he buys stuff he'll tag them and say just brought this from premier darts great service got it within a couple of days or whatever and it's just those little things like that that people will notice a hundred percent like for you if like someone every week when you stream says like oh i'm watching jack stream or i've just gone into jack stream or like done this done that and then you know they sort of stop you know they've still i i'm not putting down again sort of like players who aren't great but like you still have to be at some sort of level to be able to get sponsored there's no point saying you're averaging 50 and then say i don't have the money for you school but i'm sure someone will sponsor me to do it because that's probably not going to happen but if you're at a decent standard and you're showing that sort of loyalty there's every chance that someone even if it's like a small amount of money might just say oh yeah we'll like put something towards it because you've been loyal to me in a sense and i think that's that's how you view it especially it makes such a big difference I don't, I don't think people understand how much of a difference it makes but it's it's massive yeah like i'm sponsoring kyle davidson and um the only reason i'm sponsoring him really is because he comes and plays ash every single wednesday yeah every wednesday he's in the stream he plays ash it's one game but then i saw his, his mum on because uh, yeah i'm friends with his friends with his mum on facebook and i saw that she'd posted something about looking for some sponsorship and i was like yeah all right then yeah he's he's given me six or seven weeks worth of content yeah people to watch uh people f- giving pe- giving people something to watch and he's a good player as well like, yeah he, he, he beat he beat ash once i think he had about an 83 84 average he's only only like 11 or 12 i think yeah and i just thought yeah all right 100 quid yeah easy easy decision and and like for you it's, it's different for me because obviously i'm a smaller content creator but for you like as you said before that sort of like even if he doesn't get, get you the full amount of views from a video that you might put up of him like i think you put one up of him playing against ash yeah like even if that doesn't get all of the views that bring in that money it's almost like he's done something it's gained you views and you'll be paying that by paying him yeah it's almost like the re- it's almost like the reverse where he's sponsoring himself someone almost. yeah someone would come to me and say can you do this i'll do this for you i'm sponsoring him because he's already done me a favor already yeah just by turning up and playing yeah it's 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 almost in a way like as you said, just sort of almost focusing on someone or a couple of people and saying like, here's some loyalty, here's some like help almost. Can I have something in return? I've done something for you. Can you do something for me? And it's it's simple as that. And it's in terms of financial sponsorship, that's where you're only ever really going to get sponsored by people who you know or people who you've helped out quite a lot. I think there's not really... Even people who like players lower down on the order of merit in the pdc 
you look at like some of the companies that sponsor them and they're just like they're nothing to do with darts they're like a I don't know a fireplace company oh, or like something Steve Burton and Brett Clayden two people who are from our area yeah and you see their tags and it's so and so from Stone Market which is like up the road from us or yeah. it's or it's a it's a, ga- a garage or something yeah it's because they're, it's probably their mates or like a family friend and they're like they're almost like invested in their journey because they know them and then they'll also be like if say it is a garage and they take their car in for an MOT it doesn't take them a lot to just say took my car in for an MOT for this place they're really quick done a good job said they'd do XYZ to my car go and check them out if you're in Ipswich it's like something simple as that even if like a couple of people see that post it's a couple of people and obviously this company have paid whoever to like put this out there almost but it's like I said because it's a family friend there's almost that bit of leeway and saying like okay I don't mind losing that money because you're all, you've always been loyal to me and I think that's what it always goes back to yeah yeah one one other thing I want to want to say as well if you're looking for spon- if you're looking for sponsors and you are casting yourself a bit of a net the generic message with your name changed is so obvious yeah it's proper obvious trust me I work in marketing and I send out those types of emails where it's like template email and you've got a little thing that changes the name to every person's email that you go to and it's so obvious that you can see it yeah and, uh, it works because I do it on a mass scale to like you know hundreds of people but like if you're sending that message to like 10 YouTubers who don't earn a lot of money they've we've all got our own jobs we're not full-time YouTubers in darts world they're like you're not gonna and obviously it's darts and darts so it kind of makes sense but like it's not gonna work in that aspect like cold calling like same thing if someone just puts like a random letter through your door saying like whatever like some random company you're just gonna throw it in the bin and it's the same thing as like direct like dms on twitter it's almost the same thing you read it and it's like can i have some sponsorship and you look at the person it's like well the message is really generic you don't follow me you don't post anything on twitter you've got like one follower it's like it's, it's like it's not gonna work taking the dog for a walk and someone comes up to me and goes can I have 150 pounds play darts you're like so, what yeah can I have 150 pounds play darts is that all right no there's, there's no background to it <laughs> yeah. at all yeah yeah um some other things that the that come with the whole sponsorship thing as well I think something that a lot of people still neglect even though we're sort of properly into the technology era and the internet era is you can do so much to gain a gain yourself a decent following on on twitter and facebook or youtube or like tiktok now tiktok's huge tiktok is one of those where the algorithm is so good for a specific audience so for me all my tiktok is is football darts and memes yeah three types of videos and i see so many darts videos and so many people on tiktok and it works because i bought stuff off the back of it and also because you'd done it but like when i first got back into going on tiktok i think i'd just come back from holiday I was about to go on holiday went on TikTok and I was scrolling through these people and obviously I've done YouTube now for like three years so and I don't want to say like I'm an innovator because you've done it before me but like I'd like to think I'm one of the original darts content creators in a way from like the big wave that come from COVID and you see so many people on TikTok now and they have like 500 followers which is like less than what I have on like Instagram and YouTube but because TikTok algorithm is so good at finding people who are into that point it gets so many views and so many hits that companies will send stuff to those people who have only 500 followers or even like 300 followers because the the views you get on tiktok are so different to what you get on youtube and that's again use of platforms just saying i'll shout you out on social media like on facebook you can have like 800 friends on facebook but like 300 of them are from school 200 are from like people in your town that you don't actually know but they've just sent you a friend request like 50 of them your family like all them lot aren't going to be interested in darts whereas tiktok if you upload a darts video 95 percent of those people are going to be into darts to see that video and that's where companies look at that and go okay we'll send you some flights and stems yeah because i think there's there's just this new new wave of tiktok where you can yeah you can gain yourself a really good following but you haven't got to do a lot no. like who's that I always get his name wrong, and I'm sorry if he is listening because he does watch a lot of my stuff. But that that Finn Galdins, do you know what I'm talking about? No, unfortunately not. I'm not really on. Again, oh, 
What was his name? I've, Finn... I've had a lull in TikTok where I don't really... Finn Galdins. Can we watch it? This guy, yeah. He just goes to... He's hilarious. But his TikToks are, like, huge. He's got 88,000 followers. His TikToks get, like, between 15 and 100,000 views on average, I'd say. But he just goes to the football... And he just films little bits of the day. Yeah, I you know, know, you know who I'm talking about. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just he just goes through the football, or whatever. He films little bits throughout the day, and um, like that's so easy to do for darts. Like you you could you could get yourself ten thousand followers in a couple of months. So over the space of probably like two years of having TikTok, I've uploaded twenty one videos, which is nothing, and a lot of it is literally just like get a set of darts, plonk it on the table, take a photo or film it set my phone up, put it at the dartboard, chuck like 12 to 18 darts, do the little, you don't even have to speak into a mic, you don't have to commentate on anything because you've got text to speech, just go, yeah. these darts are really like level six grip, da, 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 little darts review that's like a minute long, gets loads of views and like companies will see that and I know darts reviews are different because you have to pay out to do it unless someone sends you something but again it's like, even if you just already have a set of darts, just like you could just stick up a little review and a company will probably see it and they'll be like, oh, that's interesting. They've stuck up a little review of us and they've, you know, done whatever. And I think it happened a lot with QSOL. I think a lot of people bought a lot of QSOL products, started reviewing them and QSOL would just send them out to people because they started reviewing their stuff. And then like people were getting like these boxes like this big from QSOL for like uploading a few videos of stuff and like getting those QSOL products. And it's yeah. like, it, and it goes back again, and we'll probably get onto a bit more equipment sponsorship in a minute, but like, it goes back again to like, doing someone a favour. Yeah, massively. Yeah, definitely. So the, there are there are, there are quite a lot of ways where you can, uh, I'm, I'm not saying you, you're going to get sponsored, but you can really improve your chances of someone taking a chance with you, that with just, just build, build yourself a platform somewhere. Mm -hmm. TikTok is going to be the easiest way of doing it. It's going to be the less time consuming. It's going to be it's going to be so much easier than doing so, YouTube somewhere, or somewhere where you can get a focused following effectively. Which, to be fair, is a lot of platforms. Facebook, there's no point if you say. I mean, most people don't use Facebook nowadays. But like, the amount of people I see ask for sponsorship on Facebook, and it's like, well, as I said before, if half your friends aren't even into darts, there's no point. But like, Twitter's. I mean, Twitter's not really a commercial platform as such. But like the Twitter community in terms of darts is quite tight knit. So I think everyone knows everyone every way, like in some, in some sort of way. Um, but again, really fo like all of my followers are Twitter darts followers effectively, maybe a couple of mates here and there that aren't into darts, but like, you know, I just chuck up the odd video of Mickey Mansell being drunk at the world championships and that they, bangs. they like that best tweet I've ever put out by the way. But um, yeah, just like they follow me for like stuff like that or like, you know, whatever it's like it's a darts audience so anything i put out to do with darts if someone i mean i've been sent stuff for darts reviews before if someone sends me something for a darts review they know that it's going to an audience that has been built for darts yeah and that's where you don't have to have a massive following but you just have to have a following that's you know yeah in this case darts focused yeah so that's that's definitely one thing you can you can work on is just get yourself some sort of following get yourself to a point where some people are going to like there's going to be there's going to be a decent amount of people who are going to be take, taking note of you that's one way of getting some sponsorship another way like we I said mean, earlier I mean, look at ash i mean i know obviously you're mates of him and you've helped him out and i'm obviously mates of him and i've shouted him out a few times but like ash didn't really have a twitter following until like he started posting stuff you put him like obviously help your streams helped but like he now tweets out his results and stuff so like yesterday, or yesterday, Saturday, he won a tournament and he like put a tweet out saying happy to win this, da da da, whatever. And like he's he's now getting likes from people who aren't from this area but are into darts, like people up north, wherever, like people who don't know him personally, but yeah. they follow him because he's just into darts and they just follow it. Ob obviously, like you, as I said, you've shouted him out, but like even if he'd done that anyway, he would still gain followers because people are just interested in someone who plays darts yeah yeah so definitely get some followers get yourself a little bit of like brand loyalty yeah. with with someone or something not, not obviously you know one of the big big brands but you know yeah someone a bit niche yeah 
being I think neutral, I, I, medium, I, mediumish sized. Even even if it's not like anything huge, like they might not give you like money, but like they might just send you a set of darts, and you could sell that. Like, all right, they'll send you a set of darts, and you might have to like do a review. But like, all the sets of darts that I've been given that I've reviewed, I've just sold on because at the end of the day, yeah. I've done I've done what the company wanted me to do, and if that's got them one sale, they've made a profit, and then sell them on and that's like almost my thing that's like my financial gain for doing something for them so it's almost like works two ways or if i like the darts i'll keep them but yeah yeah definitely that's the that's a good good way of doing it but yeah that's just some some ideas about sponsorships and stuff that i think is worth talking about and worth it's worth having to having a discussion definitely yeah. um but yeah that'll do us for this episode we'll be back again on thursday Thanks for watching. If you want to go follow Kurt, you can do. All of his links will be either on the screen or in the description or wherever they are. Go and drop him a follow. And follow me as well. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you a lot later. Goodbye. Thanks, bye.